Hey, YouTube family, what's going on? So check it out. Last week, I released a video doing some freestyle playing, uh, slapping the bass a little bit. Uh, inside of that groove, I played a riff. A lot of people asked me about that riff, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to break it down, show you exactly what I was doing and the technique behind it. Let's go. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's just called Freestyle Bass. I'll put it in the description as well as linking it up here. Also, if you're new to this channel, we talk about everything bass related. I'm here to help you or guide you or coach you to expand your bass knowledge to that next level. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything that I upload. Okay, real quick guys, I didn't want to make this too long. So the concept behind this riff, uh, let me just refresh your memory. So. So that was the initial line or the initial bass line of that, of that groove. So when I played the riff, it was a pentatonic, pentatonic, very simple concept. I'll pick that out for you for now. So I'm playing the pentatonic scale starting on the F sharp, uh, the C sharp minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so that's the basis behind this whole entire riff. So if we were to play that uh, pentatonic scale, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, and then you're back home to C sharp. That's a five note pentatonic scale, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's get that out the way first. So all I did was extend that pentatonic scale, shifted up the, of the fretboard. If I were to keep going with that pentatonic scale, my next two notes will be E and F sharp. If I end on that C sharp, my next two notes will be E and F sharp, okay? So the F sharp is what I start on. So, so it's a very quick triplet, 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 right? Okay, so the notes, we're just going and we're descending. So we got F sharp, E, D sharp, B. Uh, which way do I go? Uh, we'll do G sharp here, F sharp, and then E there. Okay, so I end on that minor third. I end on the second note of the pentatonic scale. So one, two, da -da 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 -da. one, one E and the two E and uh, so it starts right on the downbeat of three. One, two, and you can slow this down to your pace if you need to, but the concept is simple. You can create any bass line. That's just what I play, happen to play. And I was freestyling at the time, guys, so keep that in mind. So all together, one, two, da -da 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 -da. one, Two. The fingering for that, I'm just doing a one three one three one three pattern or three one pattern. Three one three one three one shift one. Very simple. Okay, so you can put that inside of any groove. You can do. I can't do it that fast. Uh, probably should have started slower than that. But you get what I mean. So put it inside of any groove. So now let's talk about the technique because that seems to be the more difficult area of execution for most people. And if you're unfamiliar with this technique, it's called the double thumb technique. Simply put, uh, it's when you use your thumb as a guitar pick. So going down, going up. So going through the string and then up, plucking up, pluck down through the string, up. So you're using both sides of your thumb. I review this technique in depth in different ways you can use it frequently inside of the Bass Nation Academy. So if you're interested in learning more about it, I strongly suggest I'll put a card here. I'll put the link in the description. You can get a three day free trial at the Bass Nation Academy. We dive deeper into these subjects, into these lessons and uh, help you excel your bass playing. So uh, without further ado, the technique is just going down, through, up, through, down, through, up, through, boom, boom, boom. So for this one, for this particular lick, particular lick, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so I'm just alternating. It's not a specific rhythm, so I'm literally alternating between downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. And I'll talk about the upstroke because that's the tougher part of this technique. And I'll talk, there's a whole lesson dedicated to that even on the channel. I'll try to link it here as well. Um, it's just called the upstroke. <laughs> and that's a very difficult part of it. So you have to practice just one note or one string at a time.
until you can get it down packed and comfortable enough in order to execute playing this in both directions okay so practice that one riff you can play it at slow at a slow speed takes some getting used to but trust me over time you'll be able to get it and learn different techniques and uh, different nuances and things that you can do uh, in order to control that a little bit better and that's what I talk about a little bit more as, as far as being able to control that because that's a very controlled movement you can't move too far away from the fretboard or else you'll miss up or you mess your timing up or you'll just miss a string or miss a note but anyway and that was the whole entire riff you can run with this take it and run with it like i always say and make sure your notes are coming out clean clear and precise that's the other part of executing this technique properly so if you guys have any questions you know what to do in the comments below and if you're interested in learning more about this or diving deeper into this subject or anything bass related really there's a three-day free trial at the bass nation academy it's an online bass education community uh, where thousands of bass players excel their bass playing every day we have live stream classes uh, weekly lessons uh, we have video q a sections it's, it's a ton of stuff so beneficial for you if you're learning how to play the bass or just wanting to be able to excel just a little bit more so check that out if you're interested the link is going to be in the description or i'll put it right here make sure your notes are coming out clean clear and precise and i'll catch you guys in the next one